I move that when this committee do arise, Senate File Number 488 be recommended to pass. This bill, Senate File 488, has strong bipartisan support as shown by the unanimous approval of it in the Jobs and, Growth, Jobs and Economic Growth Committee last week. And I want to thank especially Senator Metzen, Senator Tomasoni, and Senator Kielash as co-authors of this very fine piece of legislation, according to Senator Metzen. And oh yes, you too, Chairman Michelle. Each of us has a number of airline employees who live in our districts. And as could be seen by the strong employee turnout in the Jobs and Economic Growth Committee and by the employees' very passionate and com compelling testimony in favor of this legislation, the ability to voluntarily trade hours, trade shifts with their colleagues, is of great importance to all of these employees. Senate File 488 is legislation that was brought to me by Delta employees in the state of Minnesota. This legislation will exempt airline employees from overtime provisions of the Minnesota Fair Labor Standards Act when the employee accrues overtime due to voluntary, and I stress voluntary agreements among employees to trade scheduled work hours. Please let me share with you three main points about this bill. Number one, the flexibility, the ability of the voluntary, voluntarily swapping shifts affords these airline employees is an item that they greatly value for a variety of reasons. It's a flexibility that Delta has been able to offer employees in Minnesota until just recently. That is because employees were contract employees and voluntarily swapping of hours with fellow employees without payment of overtime was permitted under their contract. Employees have recently voted to not be contract employees and therefore fall under Minnesota state law regarding overtime as it applies to, among other things, voluntarily swapping shifts. The loss of this flexibility has real consequences. It would have an impact on Brenda Deutsch, who works in the Sky Club at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. Brenda testified in committee that her husband has had three strokes in the past year. And it is this flexibility that allows her to voluntarily work double shifts when her husband has medical care and then allows her to be with him when that care is not available. It would have an impact on Glenn Hammond, who works at the Iron Range Reservation Center in Chisholm, Minnesota. Glenn testified that in addition to working for Delta, he runs another business on the side, and this flexibility allows him to do this. It would have an impact on Doug Radke, who works at Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, but drives in from Western Brownton, which is over an hour away from the airport. Doug testified that this voluntary flexibility allows him and his wife to balance their work hours to be able to take care of their two daughters. It would have an impact on Cerise Kogo O'Neill, who used this voluntary flexibility to care for her parents when they were ill and now uses it as a salary supplement to pay bills during this difficult economic time. It would have an impact on 3,000 Delta employees who can use this voluntary sh shift swapping as a tool to make their lives easier and that these other employees represented so eloquently in our jobs committee. A second point, airline employees in 40 of the 50 other states enjoy this same flexibility as this legislation proposes. This includes every state where Delta has an operation or a reservation call center. So this would permit Delta's Minnesota employees to do the same as they can do in every other jurisdiction where they operate. In addition, over 19 other work groups in Minnesota already have a similar provision, allowing them for voluntary swapping of hours, including many in the transportation industry, including taxi cab drivers, truck drivers, and ship workers. And finally, there is no fiscal note, no fiscal impact to the state. As I open with, this bill has strong bipartisan support. And I would be remiss if I did not point out that Representative Leon Lilly, a Delta employee himself, is carrying this bill in that other body. 
This bill has been heard in committees in both the House and the Senate, and there is no opposition and no dissenting votes in either of the committee meetings. I would ask for your support for this measure today. Thank you.